In 4-H, doing engineering means using an experiential decision-making method. This method is core to the design process. Once youth learn and understand the process, they can apply it to design and build solutions to many other problems and issues that they will face in school, their career, and life. But what about technology? We um, kind of lump technology usually into the engineering design process, um, and that's why that word design becomes really important, is that a lot of um, technology activities are really still following that same process and having you design to meet a different challenge or problem. The design process starts with a challenge or issue, a problem. It is usually complex, with multiple ways to approach the problem, multiple ways to solve the problem. The goal or desired outcome is usually identified. Often certain specifications or constraints that the solution must meet are also specified. These may be a limit to supplies or materials you can use, the cost of the solution, a deadline to meet, or other factors such as weight, size, or strength criteria. I'm just going to give you a challenge and some stuff and let you go. So your challenge is um, using only one, <clears throat> one balloon, it's in your bag, one foot of tape. So you have um, masking tape on your table from before and there were little um, rulers well, you have the tape measures from the other activity, or you have a little ruler to measure one foot of tape. Um, and several of the other items provided in your bag, which you've got some rubber bands and a binder clip and some weights and some paper clips in there. Um, you need to design a balloon that will bounce the greatest number of times. Come up and grab your baggie of supplies, but before you start doing what are we going to do? Plan. We want to think. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Plan. You might want to sketch a design. You only get one balloon, so think about how you might want to test this, because you might want to. You might fail, right? You might want to test it multiple times. So it's going to got to be part of your plan too. Understanding the problem and possible ways to approach it. Brainstorming is the next step in the engineering process. Imagine possible solutions. Do some background research. Consult experts and the people involved. Be innovative. So this activity is really open-ended. There are no answers. There's not one right balloon designed to make um, for this. In engineering, planning involves diagramming or sketching out a design identifying appropriate materials and tools, and using your math and science knowledge. It is time to clarify any constraints or specifications. With your design planned, the next step is actually creating it. Engineers build a prototype or small-scale model before implementing the full-scale design. They may build it in components that are later assembled. Testing your design is where you see if it works, if it actually solves the problem or meets the challenge while working within any specifications or limits set on the project. Multiple observations and tests under different conditions are often used to increase the reliability of your solution. The engineering design process is cyclical. Often the original idea is not the best one, and new ideas about how to improve on it will come to you as you test it. So we redesign. Sometimes our ideas just don't work. But in the face of failure, how do we keep going? It's so important to um, keep giving positive reinforcement and really to give that specific feedback on things that they did well. Maybe they were really great at communicating with their team members or they were great at sketching their design or they made a great plan or they thought out of the box for their design but and to, so that they really feel encouraged and supported in what they did accomplish even if their prototype maybe didn't work as, as they planned. Um, 
and then to show different cases where this is true, right? So, I mean, there are a lot of inventions and designs out there that were invented by accident or by something that messed up, right, in the, in the lab. So to bring in different examples of failure actually leading to success and that um, it's okay and to embrace that because it could really lead to something exciting. Sharing the results of your design process with your peers and mentors is the next step. This is your chance to explain your approach and solution, what you did to meet the criteria and specifications, what factors you considered. This is also the time for your peers and mentors to question your process and the trade-offs that you made. Learning is social and collaborative. When we share our ideas and approaches to a problem, our solution can be improved. Good engineering and technology requires rigorous review and feedback. It is only through this critical questioning and feedback that we find out how things really work and arrive at the best solutions. To recap the design process. But we start by identifying a problem, or I gave you a challenge here today. Um, you brainstorm, so you did have this time where you got with your group and you sketched some designs. I saw some people drawing or talking through it. Um, you made a plan, so you made a plan before you started building. You built something, you tested it out, you were testing on your tables, and a lot of you had to think, how, well, I don't want to tie off the balloon, right, because I want to retest. You were doing this redesign process, because you're like, well, I'm just not going to do this once. I want to try that. Now I want to see what happens when I do this, and I want to see what happens when I do this. So engineers are always going through this redesign process over and over again, making um, sometimes what they call prototypes. So you make a prototype of something before you build it big, and you test out that prototype, and it fails, and so you make a new one, and you keep um, going through this process. Um, sharing can happen, of course, within that, but you, know, you test something, it fails, you make a new plan, you build again, you test again, and then we, we share it out um, as a group here.